All right, everybody, here we are. Going to start another project, another experiment. And whoops, <laughs> always dropping something on camera here. Um, so the idea for this video uh, was from, I think this person follows me on YouTube. I think the name is Bandair. In the last video I uh, made, I was talking about these um, cutoff pieces from the mulberry spoon that I made. And, you know, I wanted to keep these and uh, someone had a suggestion that I could make chopsticks with them. And so that's something that I kind of intended to do anyway. But I realized that these pieces are a little bit too small or short, rather. You can see them. I'll just kind of, whoops, hold them up here. Sorry. Um, so they're probably a little bit too short. So what I am actually going to try to do today is see this piece is pretty thick. I'm going to try to make uh, hair sticks. So um, if you're not familiar, like generally women use them for like design. They can hold their hair in place if they're making a bun or something. So it's um, just another something else that you can just play around. If you follow, you go on say Instagram or anything else, any kind of forum social media, you'll see a lot of ideas from people and that's kind of where I also got the idea from. I wouldn't generally know to make hair sticks off the top of my head. but um, So that's what we're going to try to do today. So, But before we get started, I wanted to show a spoon that I finished recently. I did not make a YouTube video about this, but I wanted to show this beautiful uh, mulberry cooking spoon that I made recently. This is going to be for sale I'll probably put it up on my Etsy page, and then if it doesn't sell, then uh, when the festivals start rolling around this year, uh, I'll start to, uh, um, you know, I'll put this out there for sale and see if it sells. And this is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that grain, guys and gals. <laughs> Man, this thing is, the, the, the wood is just absolutely beautiful. So I did a little different technique. I completely sanded the inside of the bowl, similar to the other spoon, and the rest is uh, knife finished um, and some burnishing with a with a rock at the stone. So kind of gives a little contrast there. Uh, I got I'm getting a little bit better with the knife work. Um, so that's what we have. So I wanted to show that just to show you guys. Uh, so I'm gonna. Position these pieces of, of uh, wood here to get started on making, uh, I guess, hair sticks. Be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. So I was actually going to make two sets of hair sticks, but uh, I started looking at this piece here, and it's actually pretty wide. And I said, you know, I'm going to... Not tonight, but I wrote the word spoon on there just to remind myself that this piece <coughs> will be a, uh, I don't know, a sugar spoon, a baby spoon, some type of little spoon. Uh, so I'm deciding to do that. And again, I want to thank the, I think the person's a follower of me here on, uh, on uh, YouTube for suggesting the idea for chopsticks. So I kind of took that a little slightly different way and said, hey, I can maybe make some hair sticks. So I appreciate uh, the um, idea. Uh, I really, really do. Um, so this other piece, not really sure. It's just a single piece. It's very thin. I might just keep it just to admire its beauty because I don't know what else I can do with it. So that's kind of a side note. So I very crudely drew some what I would think would be in the shape of a, a hair sticks, some things I've seen on the internet previously. Really, really crude drawings, nothing fancy, just kind of has like a little circle finial up top just for some decoration um, to give it some spice. So we're basically going, let me put this on mute here, it's just uh, music. We are let me make sure you guys can see this here. Ugh. Cool. So we're basically, move it a little closer. We're just going to simply, this is a really, I think, it, in theory, a simple project. You know, it's just shaving this down, 
nothing crazy, just kind of tapering it down. I mean, that's really about it. Let me see if I can raise this up. Whoops, raise this up a little bit here. Um, so you can see a little bit more of what I'm trying to do here. Oops, here we go. All right, so there's nothing really crazy, but uh, you know, take you guys along for the ride here. So, uh, hmm. All right. So we're just gonna just kind of match and follow our guide a little bit. I'm just gonna shave down. And this is probably something that could be done and I'm not sure how long. I've never done this before, so it's probably gonna take me a little bit longer than what it it probably should or would if you make these all the time. Never done this before, so just like with all of my learning experiences, um, oh man, what's going on? We're going to take our time. Don't want to take off too much material. So if you can see, we're kind of getting a taper here, um, and that's all we're going to do. We're just going to continue following this, um, whoops, this template, I guess, drawing. Uh, that's really about it. Flatten this out. <clears throat> Whoops. It's a very thin piece now. So I'm going to just continue roughly shaping this. You kind of get the idea of what I'm doing. I'm just kind of following the the drawing there, just kind of shaving different sides until I get the dimension that I feel comfortable with. And I'll come back when there's more done. And I will also work on this one as well. So uh, when I have more done, I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. So well, you know, I'm not even close to done, but I, I'm just kind of transitioning to a different uh, part of what I'm trying to do is taper it down, and I thought I would just kind of share with you my thoughts. So it was kind of, uh, you know, making a square, and when you're trying to make something uh, more rounded or a cylinder, you have to think of um, the squares as, uh, not think of them as anything, but just try to remember to, you know, knock the corners off where you're going to create uh, I, I'm probably not going to explain it correctly, but it makes sense to me. But basically, going to knock the corners off to create, I guess, smaller diameter, and you're just going to basically just keep knocking uh, the corners off until you get to the diameter that you want, and then you can kind of do some uh, uh, final shaping. Um, I'm probably going to very soon start to, with the uh, carving knife. So just kind of keep that in mind, I guess, when you're, you know, trying to make something more rounded, knock, keep, just keep knocking the corners off until you get to a point that you're happy with as far as the diameter. And then you can move to something a little bit more, um, I guess, refined, if you will. So just wanted to share that. I'm going to just do a little bit of work here and uh, just kind of show you what I'm doing here. And just kind of knock it again, knocking the corners off. Um, that's all we're doing. You know, again, I've never made this before, so I just want to kind of get this to where I, I kind of like it and, you know, kind of move from there. You know, just kind of, again, shaping a little knot there. And then you'll see you're going to get more and more rounded as we go, which is fine. And just have to keep playing with it over and over and over again. Um, again, until you get to the shape that you want. And that's really it. Just kind of making. Uh, yeah, that's really it. I got to be careful because I'm adding this little finial here, so I can't go all the way up on this corner here. Again, all this could probably maybe even be more easily done with a carving knife, but 
this, you know, trying out these different tools here. Okay. So we're kind of getting there, just slowly but surely, just kind of refining this, tapering it down, a lot more material to remove. So I'm just going to keep playing around with this, guys, and I'll be right back when there's more done. All right, guys, I'm back. So I'm just kind of moving on to a different part of the uh, the piece here, and I want to share with you what I'm doing. So I want to create a, like, I guess a ball, like a finial, I guess, for detail. And how I'm going to do that is, um, again, just kind of following the template or the drawing. So on the front, I'm just kind of going around uh, the the circle, okay? Um, and on the back, I didn't draw anything, but what I'm doing is I'm making, um, I hope you can see it, just kind of making like stop cuts. So I'm gonna go up and up and up all the way around, okay? So you're gonna kind of create like a little crevice, I guess. And I'm just gonna call it a stop cut for lack of a better term. And then since I'm going up, I'm gonna, I need to come back down and uh, get those other pieces out. And you have to be very careful. I'm going to get in a weird spot here. I don't want to cut myself at all. And you're just going to come back and just kind of remove uh, those pieces here. I'm sure there's probably a better way to do this, but uh, this is just how I'm doing it. I don't suggest you follow me, but with how exactly how I'm doing it. And you just come back the opposite way to remove the piece uh, the uh, pieces here so let me just do a little bit more I really need to be careful <laughs> so you can barely see it but you know I'm kind of getting that out to so go up and then go back down and that'll hopefully get the ball so when I have that done more done I'll be right back all right guys I'm back so I pretty much have this first one done, or completed. That's what it looks like. It's very simple. It probably needs a little bit more refining. Uh, just so you know, I, I am going to sand this part. Uh, I spoke with my wife about um, hair sticks, and I guess traditionally they're maybe a little bit thinner up here, up top, but it feels like a pretty good uh, thickness, and uh, it doesn't have to be like a spike, just has to be you know, kind of like a decorative thing to hold up your hair. Um, this little, whoops, sorry, little finial thing. I'll have to maybe revise this a little bit more, maybe make it a little bit smaller. We'll see. Um, so I'm going to get started on the second one. Now I've learned, the great thing is about doing this, I've learned this piece is a little bit thinner or smaller, so that's great. So uh, by doing this first one, I, I've learned a little bit that I can basically remove... A lot of material, probably a little bit more than I realize, and I can't be too aggressive with this because this is a, actually a, a thinner or smaller piece. So, but you can really actually remove a lot more than I realized. So, and uh, that's the great thing about doing something you learn. And that's what we're going to do. So I'm just kind of shaving it down again, just like the first one, guys. Just uh, kind of repeating the same process and checking it as we go along. Um, that's really about it, I suppose. Hopefully this project works. Turns out well. We'll see. So I'm going to just continue kind of shaving this down. And when there's more done... Um, Come back and uh, we'll see how we do. All right, guys, be right back. All right, guys, just wanted to show you some more of the progress here. We're moving uh, along with this one. It's uh, coming to shape. This one might be slightly thinner than the other one, but that's okay. These this uh, may be a gift for uh, my sister or my sister-in-law. I'm not really sure. Um, Unless my wife wants them. I don't think she really uses these things. That's uh, kind of not her style. Of course, she's welcome to have them. 
Oops, sorry, probably can't see anything here. So I'm just kind of just really refining the shape. Um, I have a spoke shave, but that's kind of like a kind of Frankenstein did a little bit. Um, <laughs> kind of got this no name, although it's, it looks like it's an antique spoke shave at a uh, like a flea market. Actually, a well, really a festival that I was in. It wasn't a flea market, but um, I had this old uh, spoke shave. No blade to it. There's no markings on the spoke shave, so I really had, had to research it as best I could. Couldn't find out what maker it was, so I, I wound up buying a uh, Stanley uh, spoke shave blade off of eBay, and it, it kind of works. It's not perfect. Um, definitely not perfect, but it, it kind of works a little bit, so I'm uh, just kind of experimenting with that, um, or I did on the other one. Um, I'm just kind of rounding this off a little bit, this little finial. I'm not really fond of finials, so I don't really have much practice um, making these. So, um, so uh, you know, if I made a lot of finials on my spoons, I suppose I... Uh, probably be a lot better at making these but and probably quicker as well but uh crap i don't want to go too crazy on this finial i'll rough it out here and that's really what we're doing just kind of making almost like a spike except it doesn't have to be that sharp at all just Just needs to, you know, again, you're making something. Um, this is not a good position to be in here with this knife. Um, you just have to understand how the item is going to be used. And from there, it will probably help you make the item. Even though I've never made hair sticks before. Just kind of have a very general idea of how these are supposed to be used. Um, just kind of going along here, concentrating. It's almost as if we're making a handle for a, uh, a spoon, you know? Just kind of thinning it out, rounding it off, kind of using your knife as a spoke shave, I guess. A little bit. This is my idea, I guess. My interpretation. But I think that's actually... Let me look at this other one here, guys. I mean, that's actually pretty... It's not as... I'll have to shorten it up a little bit. Oops, sorry. It's about the same width anyway. Um, it's pretty close. The finial is a little bit smaller, but that's okay. We can always um, shorten the other one. So I'm just going to continue playing with this, just kind of going around back and forth different parts of it. And when I have these done, I'll be right back, all right? All right, guys, I'm back. So. I'm going to do probably the last little refinements on this before I sand them. What time is it? 9.42. I think I can sand these. And I'm actually going to put the final product or finished product on uh, Instagram. So if you follow me, and if you don't follow me, please go over there and do so. And uh, you can check out these uh, finished items. But these are, whoops, these are the hair sticks. They kind of look like clothespins a little bit. <laughs> and could you use these as chopsticks? Mm. I suppose a little thick, but these are for your hair. Um, put them in for style, or kind of cross them, I guess. Do I don't know. Generally, women use these. Um, 
and I don't have any hair on my head, so I definitely don't know how to use these things. So I'm just kind of um, doing a little bit of refinement here. This finial is not perfectly round, but so I'm just kind of going back and forth. I am going to sand these uh, very smooth because uh, when they go in your hair, there can't really be any friction because it's going to cause some pain. So they have to be very smooth. And you know, you just have to get out of your comfort zone, you know, uh, which kind of you know, think about that now, uh, kind of segues into uh, some new projects I'll be doing regarding woodworking. Uh, I actually made my first uh, table over the New Year's, uh, I guess, holiday. Uh, that's on Instagram. I didn't, you know, basically I just took an old um, table base. It's uh, wrought iron. I found it at a thrift store. I had this big stump or, or uh, log or whatever, and I uh, I just created a table top and bolted it on, and voila, you have a table. So uh, it's kind of something I'll, I'll probably be getting into a little bit more this year as well. And I will be selling those at uh, locally, not not through, well, not online, but just locally. Um, so it's kind of cool to see my woodworking kind of blossom. I didn't really imagine that I would even have fifty something followers on. Uh, YouTube, didn't know anything about Instagram. I have a very small following there, which is so cool. Uh, didn't think I'd be making any tables. I mean, it's just incredible. I mean, wood is incredible. It's beautiful. And I thought I'd share that with you guys. And, uh, you know, so stay tuned for those. I may even do some videos of me uh, making the tables, at least starting them. And, you know, they'll probably be in parts, you know, but it's uh it's kind of a cool thing um this kind of you know is something that occupies my free time uh, i don't have any children so i'm able to have uh, i guess a lot of free time where you know it's not occupied by uh caring for, caring for uh, kids um so that kind of helps me a little bit although we want kids <laughs> Not working out right now with kids, but um, getting a little personal here. But uh, yeah, and that's kind of how it is. Um, so this is, I guess, if you will, taking the place of children for me. For me, um, and this is where my energy is going, and it's great to see that uh, in myself, and and uh, other people see it as well, and they enjoy it, and that's a great thing. And I'm so thankful that. Ouch. Just cut myself, damn it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Gotta be careful, that's for sure. Um, I gotta watch this blood, god damn it. Um, nice little nick there. That's awesome. Alright, so let me pause this. I have to put a band aid on here or tape, and I'll be right back. Sorry about that, guys. I'm back. I think a little tape can't handle. So, you know, I was going to say that I'm, I'm so thankful that uh, and humbled that uh, people appreciate my work and I appreciate others' uh, work as well. And that's the kind of the great community of uh, woodworking or and spook carving uh, that, um, you know, you, you can kind of bounce ideas off each other without even knowing each other. And, you know, everybody kind of inspires each other. And that's, um, you know, really, really, really a great thing. And uh, so I guess that's really it, guys. I'm going to call these finished or, yeah, I'm going to call these finished for now. And if you head over to um, Instagram, you'll you'll see these uh, finished. They're not going to look that much different than they are now, just more polished. And um, thanks for watching. And uh I'll catch you on the next video, guys. See you later.